as a poultry farmer there are ways in which you can use so that you can get a lot of chickens so easily and one of these ways is by hatching your own chicks instead of buying the day old chicks and on this video you're going to discuss how you can increase the hatching percentage using vinegar yeah vinegar i'm going to review this scientific report that was done in egypt by these three scientists in the university of the nuvali university in egypt and the research was about the effect of spraying hatching eggs by different levels of vinegar on embryonic development hatchability of the egg the physiological performance of the chickens and now those you know now now they were doing on the local chickens at their area and this video all this kind of video is best for hatcheries also best for farmers who are keeping local chickens that you have that you want to hatch yeah so this video will help you able to increase the hatching per hatching percentage to almost 90 or 95 percent and before we get into this video and if it's your first time here please subscribe to this channel subscribe and then like this video and then comment below where you're watching from and whether you have you know you have been hatching your own chick your own eggs and how and what is the percentage of the hatching percent and when you do that i'll select one person to join my course which is about organic farming on chicken using these natural products so let's get started so i'm going to review this yeah i'm just from the start of it so they were having like they were testing these vinegars so they had like different concussions of vinegar so they had the the five percent vinegar they went and the, at the market purchased a five percent vinegar and then they came with that five percent vinegar so they wanted to make other concussions now from that so they had to make the 2.5 percent vinegar and that was made possible by taking just a portion of it like 50 ml from that you know maybe they purchased one liter of vinegar so they will take like 50 ml and then add 50 ml of distilled water and that now will make 2.5 percent of vinegar so so far you have two percentages you have the five percent that they bought now now and the 2.5 of percent of vinegar concentration that, that now they have you know that now they have made and now they had now the other concussion was 1.25 percent of white vinegar solution and now this was made by mixing the taking like 25 ml of the vinegar that they bought so remember they bought the five percent vinegar and then now mixing the 25 ml of the five percent vinegar with 75 ml of distilled water or just water so they sprayed on the fertilized eggs and they had 450 fertilized eggs in which they sprayed the eggs so they wanted to test between all those eggs so they divided the eggs into several portions and now they tested the eggs first eggs which were not treated with anything just collecting eggs and just testing them the other, the other test the other group of, of eggs that they tested is the ones that now they were sprayed with water to act as a positive control the third you know the third group of the egg they tested by using the five percent the other one by using by 2.5 percent vinegar solution and the fifth group by the 1.25 so we have five groups already and there was and they used a hand sprayer to spray on the eggs using now the vinegar and the water and, they, and then now they incubated oh first first before incubation they waited for the eggs to dry at about 22 degrees celsius for 20 minutes and remember that each group of these eggs had 30 eggs and then they and then they incubated for you know the normal incubation 18 days and then they transferred now the uh, after 18 days they were able to to test whether the eggs now had formed a chick inside and then they transferred now the the ones which had formed an, a chick to a hatchara so what is the implication of this of spraying the vinegar on on the on the eggs we are going to see that right now on the part of discussion 
first you should know that vinegar has a light acidic effect according you know because now it has a different pH so it is mostly acidic and vinegar is capable to destroy any ingested microbes and bad bacteria so also for me also for me I do use vinegar as a mouthwash just after I brush my teeth I usually use vinegar so that I can cleanse up the bacteria and have a fresh breath all day long so you should try also to use vinegar just a small you know maybe some few water the the bottle tops just two and then in 25 millimeters of water you can use that as a mouthwash and then now let's get back to the video and please subscribe and then now also vinegar can be used to decrease internal warmth in your chickens and also vinegar is rich in vitamins minerals and traces of elements such as potassium which are beneficial to your birds and other animals because this has always been used over the ages to improve the health of your chickens and to support the immune system of the chicken so let us check what you know what happened and you're going to check those differences the results first using using these criterias as we said on the title of this video we are going to use several criterias the hatchability of the egg which each of the eggs hatched faster how the egg de you know, developed how the chick that will be hatched how the chick will look like and the how much bacteria is on top of the shell of your chicken after you spray the vinegar and also after maybe you spread the water because they are using several controls so we are going to see that right now so here is the results so after they sprayed the eggs with the vinegar there was an improved hatchability because vinegar can able to reduce you know was able to kill all the bacteria on you know on the shell as you can see now on this table yeah as you can see on this table this is about the effect on the embryonic weight and the albumin weight so what was the difference after spread after spraying the vinegar on the chicken what difference was there now as you can see on this table um, let's check on the final weight final weight final weight yeah after 14 days you can see that the ones which are spread with vinegar reduced to weight so the egg became less in weight and that can be due to when you spray vinegar on top of the shell the vinegar usually eludes the cuticle on top of the you know on top of the shell and that would have led to a loss in weight also the vinegar usually opens up the poles in the egg shell so that maybe air now air in the egg would have escaped also that will may have led to a loss of weight so let us check now this is the effect on hashed of cheek hashed cheek body weight body shank so this so what will happen now to the cheek that will be hashed how will it be so the cheek body as you can see on this mostly it's about 30 that 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 two that three yeah so let us check the hatchability yeah as you can see here the hatchability of the egg hatchability of the egg which was spread with vinegar was much higher compared to the rest because for the control the ones which were not spread with any any water or, 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 or vinegar they were about 70 about 79 80 yeah and the ones which were spread with vinegar had a higher hatching percentage but you can see here the one which was spread with 2.5 percent of vinegar had the highest hatching percentage so it seems that vinegar is beneficial to your chickens also you can see that the ones which were sprayed with vinegar hatched much faster and especially this one which you know hatched after nine a four 98 hours that is also the 2.5 percent vinegar concussion yeah so let us check on another also this other the blood constituents what happened to the hatched cheek what was in present what was present in the you know in the blood of that cheek that was hatched 
the egg that was hatched because the egg had been had remember that the egg had been sprayed with vinegar so that we can help so as you can see the red blood cell almost equal yeah so i think here there's no much difference here there's no much difference as you can see so yeah there's no much difference but you can see here the, we have this t4 and t4 there was an increase when you when vinegar was spread that can be due because this kind of hormones usually are the ones which which helps in growth promotions so when the vinegar was spread on that it it promoted the proliferation of this you know the increase of these hormones so the cheek which was spread by which was spread with vinegar also would have grown very fast because the hormone increased so let us check on these other carcass what will happen now to the carcass the you know the weight in terms of yolk the liver the cheek the gizzard the heart the intestines so as you can see yeah also the ones which were spread which were sprayed by vinegar had a higher percent of liver so their 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 offals also increased in weight so that's very very interesting also yeah so also now now this is what you want to see for last most years maybe broader farm and all all layers uh, all local local chicken farmers so what will happen to the feed intake initial weight gain so that we can know if spraying this vinegar would affect our production as you can see the weight of the chick was almost the same that it did about about the three grams the final weight after 14 days you know it had increased by almost double but you can see for the 2.5 percent it was much higher than the rest which is 80 grams and the body weight gain as you can see the feed intake the chick that had had been sprayed with the egg which had hatched after being sprayed by 2.5 percent of vinegar also had the highest feed intake and remember that also here we can see that it had the lowest feed conversion ratio but what's but one thing that is very very interesting it had it that it consumed more feed and by the end of the day it had the highest weight gain this is a very interesting data this also you can check on the amount of bacteria that was present with the eggshell after the egg after the egg after the egg had been you know we had done a bacteria test you can see that the ones which are spread with vinegar reduced amount of bacteria yeah, as the week proceeds wow interesting so also spraying vinegar on top of the of the eggs also reduced the amount of bacteria yeah this is very very interesting data so the conclusion is conclusion is that you should use vinegar conclusion is that using natural white vinegar solution of 2.5 percent and remember i showed you how do you make the 2.5 percent solution that will be made by buying five percent vinegar from the market five percent concentration of vinegar from the municipal market anywhere five percent and then come and then take a portion of that maybe take 50 ml of the vinegar now come and mix with similar amount of water if you take 50 ml of that five percent vinegar also add 50 50 ml of water and that will make a 2.5 concentrated vinegar solution and that as you can see as the natural substance for spraying fertilized eggs in this chicken that may be of good in embryonic development blood constituents hormones hatchability chick performance and hatching of chicks and lowering the bacteria contamination of the eggshell surface because this vinegar vinegar can kill bacteria so i hope that now you have understood how you can make or get more chicks when you incubate them so you can join my course and i'll be eager to see you there comment below where you're watching from and click on this video here to learn how you can reduce the cost of your feeds using banana peels as a replacement 
for maize because maize has been becoming so 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 expensive so you can use banana peels and it will have the same results or better results even instead of using maize click on this video here